Ghani Adams has sent strong warning to Igbo and the uh, Anyide. Who is Anyide? The area on Okatan for Yoruba land, Ghani Adams, has claimed that some individuals are conspiring to drag his name through the mud. He stated this while reacting to the controversy generated by an audio clip where he allegedly accused Yoruba nation, agitator Sunday Adiemo alias Sunday Bo, of being responsible for the death of Bola Ige. However, Adamu insist, Adams insisted that the audio clip was converted, distorted, and disjointed adding that he is ready to set the record straight on the various allegations. Record that the Igbo and Chief of Staff to Lagos Governor Babajide Sonwulu of Lagos State, Tayo Anide, had both threatened to drag the array to court for accusing them of piloting <laughs> piloting was hmm. Yes, they have dragged him and threatened him that they would take him to court for accusing them of plotting an assassination. Igbo and Anide in separate pre-action letters by their lawyers demanded that Adams should retract the said assassination claim against them or they would drag him to court. Why are they begging him or telling him, just go ahead now if you know that somebody, is, you believe that he said it. Okay, for the fact that he's coming to say oh, that was not what he said. But that is what you heard and he needed to be taken to court. Why is giving him option well however in a statement on tuesday by special assistant on media media kindly adiremi adams described the voice notes as distorted he also described the threat of lawsuits by Igbo and Aide as grand conspiracy to discredit his person maintaining that he is ready to go the extra length to protect his reputation in the statement titled, Don't Take My Silence for Cowardice, Gary Adams speaks on alleged defamation of character. He said his reaction became pertinent as it had become evident that Igbo and Aide were not ready to toe the line of peace as initiated by the army of Ife or Badeyeyi Ogunwusi. Adams, therefore, in a rejoinder written by his lawyers Uluwoli Kennedy and Rosemary Thompson, dated Monday, but obtained by Niger News on Tuesday, denied the contents and inferences drawn by Aide's lawyer in the audio clip. The letter says, First three, our client denies the contents and inferences drawn by you in your letter under reference regarding the alleged audio clip you attributed to our client, as stated in your letter, the contents of the alleged video clip, which is a concocted, distorted, and disjointed part of a private conversation between our client and another person in 2021. Oh, he just no be seen a doctor, but now invoice did they? Uh, in 2021, was published and widely circulated by one chief Sunday at the Yemo earlier Sunday Igbo and not our client. Furthermore, it is obvious that obvious from the alleged defamatory remarks that our client mentioned that. It was a rumored and unconfirmed information that he found difficult to believe and could not even be shared publicly. Thus, therefore, there is no element of malice on the part of our client pertaining the alleged statements attributed to him in the said video clip. Adams was further quoted on the statement by his media aide as saying, The reason for my silence in the midst of the various legal and media infractions by Igbo and Aide was not because I am a coward but because of the initial interventions by the only of Ife Obadeyeye Ogunwusi, other prominent Obas and several other important personalities in Yoruba land. But with the ongoing lies and aspersions among against my person, I think it is time for me to come out open and set the record straight. Though my legal team has done what as required of me, I need to state it clearly that the audio clip generating the squabbles from a distorted and disjointed content of a private conversation which aired way back in 2021 with a US-based younger brother of a friend. The conversation was initiated by the young man who claimed he wanted a reconciliation between myself, Igbo, and some other people. It was while responding to on reasons for 
reconciliation at the time that he mentioned the names of the two people. Adams noted that in the circulating audio, he said repeatedly that though it was very difficult to believe, there was an unconfirmed rumor allegedly linking Igbo to the murder of the late Minister of Justice Chief Bolaige. My statement was not done in bad faith and it was purely a private conversation. He added, he stressed, however, on the issue of my brother, Tayo Anide, let me make it clear here that I repeatedly said that whatever was said was a rumor that couldn't even be substantiated or made public. Okay. Well, Ghani Adams, please keep your mouth shut and cover up your face in shape. What is your impact in Yoruba land? Agoko, where you came from, farmers can go to get farmers freely. The little times on the old sweet we also is impacts hmm now wow guy bill so guys uh <coughs> the man don't you know leave your comment down there below and let's have your take